Hi guys, in this video, I'll be demonstrating on how to get your WordPress website to be fully GDPR compliant. Now, as you already know, on May 25th, the GDPR regulation will become law, and it's mandatory for every website to be GDPR compliant. With this new regulation, if you collect data, or if you manage any online business that requires you to collect any form of information from your visitors from any of the EU countries, including UK, be it their names, email addresses, or phone numbers, also, if you're collecting cookies or use any third-party cookies or API, you have to be GDPR compliant. GDPR Suite is a WordPress plugin that is developed to meet these new EU privacy regulations known as GDPR. And in this short demonstration, we would like to visit and meet the seven essential criteria. Cookie consent regulation, which we have to meet, privacy policy, terms and conditions, rights to be forgotten, data portability, data breach, and data rectification. The seven regulation requirements will be met on our website, as you know, and you've been receiving their notifications about changing their policies. I'm talking about big brands like Facebook, Google, Amazon, and a lot of other big brands. They're all positioning themselves to meet this new regulation. This is why you need to have your WordPress website compliant also. First, let's take a look at cookie consent. Now, what this is going to help you achieve is to notify your website visitors informing them that you use cookies and also collect information on your website and they have to consent in order to move forward with your website use. In this cookie consent setting dashboard, you have the option to display cookie consent notice on all pages. To do that, check this box and also you can also select the pages to display cookie notice on. I'll be showing samples of cookie consent notification pop-up that can be placed on our website. We have five pop-up source choices to select from. None, text option, link option, autoresponder, which is part of an upgrade, and option to create your own custom pop-up. And also, you'll be able to see the previews of what you are setting up, and the pop-up title, the pop-up title font size, the font family to select from, the pop-up content that you want to place on your cookie notification box, the content size, fonts, and any position on your web pages you want it on, be it on the top left, top right, center of the page, bottom left, or bottom right. What we are going to do now is to preview the notification we just selected, which is part of the text pop-up source option. Let's save this and preview the notification. All right, this is the cookie consent notification. When a new visitor or user accesses your website, they will have to consent to your notification before they can move forward on your website. And the best part is once the notification is visible on your website, any third-party cookies or API that was connected with your website will be disabled until the user gives their consent. One other feature we have here, let's take a look at the links section. I'll preview it so you can get full understanding of what I meant. I will go ahead and refresh this browser. Now, if the user wants to proceed and gain access to your website offerings, and for the cookies you have on your website to become enabled, all they need to do is to click and accept. And should they want to learn more about your notification, they can click here to be redirected to the page you have created. We will also take a look at the Privacy Policy section. We have a short code that can be added anywhere in your Privacy Policy page. The users or website visitors that you redirect to this page will have to accept in order to move forward. Below, when checked, it will require logged in users to be redirected to accept your privacy policy in order to move forward. Also, when you check the next box, your guest visitors will be redirected to accept your policy before they can proceed. And when they have accepted your privacy policy, which of the pages would you like them to gain access to? either your home page or any other page of your choosing. And you have to set the consent expiration days. Now we'll go ahead and copy the short code above and paste on our privacy policy page. Let's locate our privacy policy page and paste the code there. Okay, this is our privacy policy page. Let's go ahead and edit the page. Last step, let's preview our policy page. As you can see here, Users will have to accept our policy before they can proceed. And when they click on this, they will be instantly redirected to the page we have set. In this case, it's set at YouTube template page. Now clicking over to the Terms and Condition tab. On this section, we also have the short code that can be placed on our Terms and Condition page, just like the Privacy Policy. 
We can also check our choice requirements, which is to redirect users to our Terms and Condition page, and also to redirect guests to our Terms and Condition page for them to accept it. Furthermore, we will have to select the page they will be redirected to when they accept these terms. To comply with the new GDPR regulation, you have to provide your website users with a place on your website where they can request for their data to be forgotten or erased from your server. Now, once they have made a request from the dashboard, you will be able to send them a custom email to tell them that you have deleted their data you have on file. I will go ahead and show you how you can place a short code anywhere on your website and users will be able to contact you with their right to be forgotten requests. And also, this applies to the data portability requirements, whereby users will be able to request a copy of their data that you have on file for it to be sent to them. And the data rectification requirements also is whereby they will be able to fix or rectify any data that you have of them. Say they want to edit their name or email addresses or phone number, they will be able to do this. In order for us to be able to add a shortcode that can generate these requirement access, all we need to do is place it on anywhere on our website. Better yet, for this demonstration, we will go ahead and create a fresh page. And here is the shortcode that we will be using for this purpose. And we will go ahead and preview our new page. As you can see, here are the three regulations that we have to meet, which are personal data access. Users can enter their email and request their personal data. Second tab is the Forget Me. Here, they can request that all data we have on file about them on our website, say if they have registered on our website or posted on our website, wrote a comment. All they need to do is enter their email address to send this request across, and once this is done, you'll be able to delete their files that was once on your WordPress server. Lastly, data rectification. If they've made any error on your website, say they misspelled their name or entered the wrong email or phone number, or the information that they have given at first was wrong and they want to rectify it, they can always enter the current data they gave and the new data they want to be changed and their email address. Once they click on Submit, automatically you'll be able to get this new request on your WordPress dashboard and revert accordingly. I need not tell you about how important this new GDPR requirements is for all online websites or businesses. This is the reason why we have developed this WordPress plugin in order to have your website meet these seven rules. Cookie consent, privacy policy, terms and conditions, rights to be forgotten, data portability, data breach, and data rectification. Go ahead and order GDPR Suite today and have your website meet these requirements in minutes.